Hi, I would like to show you a speed rush, like a speed run fighting Nick War, which is the best AI on the, a big pond. Alright, I start the timer now. And what I'll be doing is very simple. I'll allocate all my workers to make workers first until it's zero. And so I want to, so that's why I put four of them. So this wheat, when it has five, it will start, uh, when it has five wheat, it will start producing another worker. So I want to go to zero. And then if I have reached zero workers, so, so here is the worker count. And zero divided by five means, so here at the moment, minus three means, or well minus two means I lack two workers for all the tasks I have assigned to them. So I enjoy that the wheat and the swarm is, is already at 8 and 9, so that will be very fertile. So when now I'm at zero workers again, now I'm going to create warriors. And the warriors, so uh, they will, well, uh, will be also be able to train when this thing has finished. Uh, so I get level 2 warriors. I will be rushing out warriors warriors uh, to have level 2. So I am also going to create a hospital. Like I'm not going to create workers anymore. I have plenty at the moment. And I see I have three idle workers. I'll also make a farm. I think I will now get into the negative. But that is just fine and dandy. Alright, so now I have already two level one warriors and we're going to attack and I know that the enemy is in the top and so the enemy so uh, this AI what it does it starts building up an economy first and then it will produce the first warriors so it tries. To, so it has, a, I think, it nine nine phases or so. So the first phase is the growth phase, and like, well, first it has the exploration phase, and then the growth phase, and now it's in the growth phase. So that means that my warriors will be way stronger. So it actually already built a barrack. And so let's see what's going to happen. So his warrior had attack speed. His warriors have also been training. Uh, but my warriors are start starting to get the upper hand. Because, well, I only produce warriors at the moment. So I'm already eradic eradicating, uh, like killing his army. So there are two more of my warriors versus three of him so let's kill off them, them, them warriors yeah we killed his barracks so now we can take a look at his swarm because we know it's wh where it is so let's take a look here so the hospital is full that's just fine. Like I can make a hospital here if I really am in the mood to do so. But killing off his swarm, yeah, so I just killed off his swarm, will hurt him very much. Like killing off his warriors. Without that they're unable to refresh, like killing worker there. Yeah, so there's a warrior there, killed it. There's a warrior there, there's a new swarm there, you can see it. So it has rebuilt a swarm. Well, that's a, that's a good attempt of him, but uh, let's kill the swarm. Like it was his second swarm, so alright. So now we go kill this farm. Let's see if we can kill some workers to hurt his economy. Now there's a warrior there, let's kill it. There it goes. Ah, 
it has rebuilt another swarm, so it, uh, it really tries to survive. Yeah, so there's a hospital here. Let's also build a nice farm here. I still have plenty of workers, so that will be fine. So at the moment I have 17 warriors. Oh, actually I don't bring all of them, so let's do that. And I still only recruit warriors that have level 2, which is a good thing. Like I don't want those uh, crappy warriors when they uh, when they just grow up. Like I want them to, to go into training at least once, makes them a bit sturdier. So perhaps I could already kill him uh, when I would rush out to him uh, immediately. Like I just not, sh I'm not for, sh I I don't know for sure, but I do know I definitely already hurt him very much, and he won't be able to. So he tries to make another swarm. Let's kill that one as well. So my farm is nearly getting there so my hospital is half empty so you can see that here inside is one of two so my farm or my inn as it's called is half used and that means oh inside three or four so it means that three of my warriors are probably in to, uh, to eat a bit which is great they should so there's the hospital. Well, let's make another farm here just to for the fun of it. And I'll also make another hospital here because I can. So I wonder where all these warriors come from. So there should not be that many warriors because I killed off his swarm very often. Like I killed three or four already. So let's kill off his racetrack. So the racetrack is is the place where warriors they get more f they get faster so i saw that so these workers they they have the initial slow speed and so perhaps yeah so they they're not as fast as they could be hey that's a hospital that's great let's kill it and there is another of his swarms Yeah, now it's a bit a uh, dull part of the video because now it's just killing off his structures until it's done. So I'm going to make an explorer just to, like I predict the explorer will live anyways. Now it's just looking out for his structures. And so notice that when, um, when yeah, once. 8, 12. Alright, so that was my video. You see that initially I had a power hand that Nicowar actually got uh, a strong, like more units. But if we take a look at the attack, then I, like I, I built, yeah, I had a more attack actually. There was a point in which he had more units, so apparently he starts building un like warriors immediately. Uh, so that's a good idea to do that next time. So I uh, so it was a, a bit of a lengthy video because well if you win if you're winning it's a bit dull to finish it off but I, I hope you enjoyed it and perhaps it showed you some insights and I wish you a very good day bye.